Welcome to Home Farm. Today we're going to be reviewing the Catmate Elite Microchip Cat Flap. The reason that we've gone for a microchip cat flap is because our neighbors have an enormous 10 plus kilogram cat and he does have the tendency of terrorizing Leopold who's half his size. We've also seen that the cat next door does try and get into our property. In order to keep the cat next door out, we needed to put in a system that would allow Leopold to have freedom of movement. So after a bit of research, we decided to go with a microchip cat flap. Uh, what we like about it is that you do have the ability to program uh, the cats that you have using their microchips. We did have an issue with the first Catmate Elite that we got, in that it didn't always recognize Leopold's microchip when he wanted to come through the cat flap. So he would get to the flap and he would start pushing it with his head or with his paw but because it wasn't reading his microchip the actual locks weren't opening to allow him in. We raised this with the, the manufacturer and they were really great. Within a couple of days they sent us a replacement unit and that unit has been working flawlessly. As you can see on the box these are all the main functions. So it keeps other pets out which it has been doing successfully. Uh, we have actually seen the cat next door bashing his head against the cat flap trying to come in but it hasn't budged, it hasn't opened so that's great. It has got a four-way locking system which we will show you uh, a little bit later. The timer control is quite a useful one but we don't use that because we manually control our cat's movement in and out. The microchip sensor has been working quite well uh, now that we've got the replacement flap and the cat location display is also quite helpful. And we can vouch for the three-year guarantee in that uh, this was replaced with absolutely no fuss uh, when we had an issue with the first one. Leopold is microchipped and Olive will shortly be microchipped. So we don't need these electronic discs, but you can purchase them from the manufacturer. So if you have pets that aren't microchipped, they, they basically have these discs that are put on their collars and that allows them to open the, the flap. Uh, it also comes with the wall liner. Our installation was a bit of a headache purely because we had to go through a really, really thick wall. I can't see too many issues if you are going to just go through a door or through a PVC door. It does say walls, uh, which I can vouch for. It has actually done. We did have to do a little bit of improvising to make sure that our flap was safely and securely attached to the wall. If you're curious about dimensions, I'm just going to zoom in on that. So we're going to head down now and I'm going to show you the Catmates Elite where we've installed it. So that said, the timing of our review is quite fortuitous in that the battery, as you can see, has run out. This cat flap has been installed for just under 11 months, which means it's taken under a year for it to exhaust the batteries. We don't have a huge amount of cat movement in and out of the cat flap. Uh, Leopold typically goes in maybe a half a dozen times a day. And you'll actually be able to hear that the locking mechanism, because the battery's run out. See, it's supposed to lock. There it is. So there is a delay and it's just definitely not working as well. So we are now going to show you how to change the batteries. So to change the batteries, we're just going to slide this protective cover off. That gives you access to the batteries. As soon as we take them out, the panel has now gone off, obviously. It is supposed to remember the settings for our cats. So we have four brand new Duracells. I'm just going to slide them in. That's it. There we go. That's locked. Cover goes back on. So the flashing battery is gone, everything's been restored, and you can now hear the difference. It closes instantly and it closes very, very well. So having a look at the control panel, we presently only have one cat programmed, that's Leopold. Uh, the reason for that is that Olive, our new kitten, has not been microchipped yet, so we can't set her up. The little cat sign there shows that Leopold is inside the house. The lock shows that the cat flap is currently locked, so cats can't come in or out even if the microchip is switched on. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch the cat flap onto two ways. And now you'll also see 
And because Leopold has gone out, that has now changed to him showing out. When he comes back in through the cat flap, it will show him as being inside the house. By having the flap set to two ways, that means the cats are allowed to go in and out. In the evenings, we keep Leopold locked in. Uh, so we either lock the cat flap or we just push it on one way. We normally have Leopold come in uh, in the late afternoon. So if he isn't home by, let's say, four or five o'clock, we set the cat flap to one way. And you'll see it's now positioned just one way, which means that he's only allowed to come in. And if he wants to leave, the cat flap will not open for him. The other feature that's really useful is this little plus sign. So I'm going to press and hold that for a couple of seconds. Now we can see that cat one, who in this case is Leopold, has been out for 42 minutes. So you can actually keep tabs to see how long the cat has been out for. After a while, it just switches back to the previous setting. That is obviously useful if the cat's not been back for a while. You can actually see whether they've been in or out. So if Leopold was to come in now and leave again, that would show that he has basically reset the timer so we can keep tabs on his movements. This is the entrance to the cat flap from the outside. The cats get to use their artistic trunk as their own private staircase. That is the cat flap from the previous owners. We were actually quite pleased that they'd done this because to put a cat flap through this wall would have been really, really difficult. So the fact that they made the cavity in the wall uh, and cemented it made our life a lot easier. All we needed to do inside was to make the, the gap a little bit bigger. So we excavated a couple of centimeters around the, the old cat flap and then we're able to slide ours in. Leopold's contemplating whether he should go in to have his breakfast or whether he's going to hang around outside. I'm going to say he hangs around outside and I'd be wrong. He does tend to do this quite often because you can see through the... Oh, that goes. You can see through the glass flap and that's it, he's gone in. So let's have a quick recap. We have shown you the cat flap in operation, we've shown you the bulk of the features. We haven't really spoken about the time that's in operation. Basically that creates a curfew mode. You set the flap to operate between certain hours. That is a feature that we don't use because we are working from home and we do manually control the movement of our cats. So we don't allow our cats out at night time, which means that we manually put the flap onto one way or lock it if the cats are inside by about four or five o'clock in the afternoon. I do however see a big benefit to that feature if people are working and they do allow their cats out during the day. To create that curfew mode would really, really work and I think would be exceptionally useful. We also really like that the cat flap is transparent. So when you saw Leopold entering the house earlier on in this video, he tends to do that quite often where he walks up to the flap, puts his head in and actually evaluates what's inside. Olive has been quite cheeky. She tries to jump on him and attack him. So, you know, the fact that he can see inside is of benefit to him. He's also not a huge fan of strangers and visitors to the house. So he does often pop his head in and see if there's any movements inside, uh, which is, is quite nice. Obviously the reverse also applies. So if he goes up to the cat flap and let's say the next door neighbor's cat is outside or if there's people walking their dog past the property, um, that is something that will allow him to actually back off and actually wait for them uh, to leave. From our perspective, the cat flap has worked to treat. It has kept the cat out from next door. It gives Leopold the freedom to move in and out whenever he wants to. It didn't take Leopold very long to get used to the cat flap. He has been used to cat flaps in the past uh, that weren't microchip enabled, which means that he could move in and out. For the first couple of days after the flap had actually locked, it was actually quite interesting to see him go up to the flap and try and push it or bump it with his head and the flap wouldn't open and he'd be a little bit confused. It's been interesting to see Leopold adapt to the flap. So if, for example, it's locked and he goes up to the flap, and tries to bump it with his head or knock it with his paw and it doesn't and it doesn't open he now understands that it is actually closed and he does step away we paid 75 pounds for the cat mates on amazon uh, when you compare it you can get cheaper microchip um, cat flaps they don't necessarily have an lcd screen or they, they have a slightly limited functionality so we found that this particular cat flap has actually done what we, what we had actually hoped it would do when you set the cat flap to two ways, which means that the cats can go in and out, what is quite interesting is that on the outbound movement, so when they want to leave the house, it doesn't actually read the microchip, but it does read the microchip when the cats try and come back in. The potential issue you might face is that if you have two cats 
where you want one cat to remain homebound and you want the other cat to have freedom of movement in and out. As soon as you set the cat flap to two ways, that means that when they want to leave, it never reads the microchip, it only reads the microchip when the cats want to come back into the house. So if you do have that scenario where you've got two cats and you don't want one going out, this cat flap isn't going to get the job done for you. And from what I've read online is that a lot of the microchip cat flaps that are on the market don't actually regulate the outbound traffic. That flap is always open. Obviously, if the, the flap is set to one way, so you're only allowing the cats to come back into the house or it's locked all together, they obviously can't exit through that cat flap. But if it is set on two way where they've got freedom of movement, that cat flap is going to open for whichever cat actually goes up to the flap. And that is quite an important consideration. So to wrap up this review, uh, we've really been pleased with this cat flap. Since we replaced the cat flap, Leopold has not been locked out. Uh, there were instances with the first one, as we said, where he'd try and get up to the, the cat flap and it wouldn't always read his microchip and he'd be left frustrated trying to knock his head against it or trying to push it open with his paw. That issue seems to have gone away, thankfully. So uh, from that perspective, it is worth watching the cat flap for the first couple of weeks while, you, while your cats are getting used to it and seeing whether they are able to get in and out of the cat flap easily. So we are generally very, very pleased with the cat flap. It's getting the job done and we do recommend it. Thanks for watching. You can also follow us on Twitter or check out our website at myhomefarm.co.uk. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you have any suggestions for any other videos you would like to see, please leave a comment. We hope to see you on our next video.